Hello folks, I'd like to talk about how to get your spouse on board with stacking silver and prepping. Before you can explain to your spouse, let alone, let alone other folks, why you're prepping, you need to know in your heart why you're prepping. Otherwise people are going to think you're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Prepping is not a game, it's not a club, it's something to prepare for what something you believe is coming down the pipe. So for me, what is my fear? My fear is an economic collapse, <coughs> a dollar collapse. Now before you say it can't happen here, this is America, I urge you all to pause this video and Google Puerto Rico economics, you know, play with the words a little bit. I just read an article yesterday pertaining to Chicago, Illinois, how they're giving people IOUs after they win the lottery. They have no money in Chicago. Their pension plans are collapsing. Other emergencies, Flint, Michigan water situation, although that is not an economic collapse there. Uh, it sure wasn't a, a, an emergency for those people who did not have water to drink. So before you explain to your spouse why you're prepping, you really need to understand in your heart why you're doing it. Um, how to get your spouse on board. I'm actually looking a little bit down uh, to take a look at my notes on board and what they can do to help. Now, I'm going to talk to you from a male perspective. It is my job, not my wife's job, it is my job to protect her from anything, physical or financial harm. It is my job to feed her. It is my job. It is not her job. So please do not be offended if I talk to you from a male perspective, if you're a female. I don't mean any disrespect. My, work, my wife works just as hard as I do. And she might be a stay-at-home mom. I don't know what the situation is. But you need to explain to her what you're afraid of. Show her evidence. Don't just come out, I wanna, I wanna start prepping and stacking silver um, and you're gonna love it. No, it doesn't work like that. You gotta show her evidence, show her news articles, show her anything you can to get her on board. But show her supporting news articles, something that is not pulled out of your butt, okay? For me, also, one of the mistakes I made was stacking silver. I started buying silver without her knowing. Um, I didn't hide it from her, but I didn't explain why. And in her mind, she probably equated it to me starting a stamp collection or a comic book collection or a coin collection for that fact. You really need to explain to her the mechanics of money, if she doesn't already know, why you don't want to keep your dollars in the bank because they're not offering you anything to hold your money for you. You're an adult. You can hold your own money. Explain to her that this coin, this silver coin, is just as liquid as cash. I can take this silver coin right now, go to my local coin shop down the road, they'll give me market value of cash. It is no less liquid than cash. If anything, there's more of an upside. Explain to her that from the beginning of when she was a child, from the beginning when her, her parents were ch children, the price of silver was here. And although it went up and down and up and down and up and down, the overall trend to today is up here. The dollar value, the purchasing power, the amount of products you can purchase with a dollar has declined. One's going this way and the other one's going that way. Explain to her why you would like to start purchasing silver and holding it yourself. Some of the things your spouse can do to help is just very simple things. First of all, explain to her you can't do it yourself. For that matter, if your spouse is the one that's prepping and you're not, she can't do it herself. For example, if she's saving money and you're saving, or if, or 
and yeah, if she's saving money and you're spending it, it's counterproductive. If I'm saving money in in the form of whatever, whether it even be dollars, and she's spending it, it's, it's not going to work. Guys got to be on board with one another. Okay? Um, you can't be just spending money without each other knowing. Um, what we learn to do is, when possible, is buy in bulk. Buy bigger bags of flour, rice, and beans. It's only a little bit more expensive than going to the normal grocery store versus Costco. You get a bag of flour this big for five dollars, when I can get a 20, 25 pound bag of flour, I've already got it half used, it's in the corner there, right there. I think we spent 15 bucks and it was like six, seven times the amount of flour versus a $5 bag of flour, a $4 bag of flour, it makes no sense. So we buy at Costco and bulk food stores whenever we can. Although when we go in there, we're not crazy about buying all the cakes and all that crap. We just buy in bulk the necessities. So, so what the what the spouse can do is learn to go back to basics, learn to cook. Uh, it's far cheaper um, and whatnot. Um, I've learned to make my own laundry detergent. It takes three or four ingredients, and it takes maybe twenty minutes. And to give you a perspective of how much it costs. Well, let's just say a big thing of Tide cost 12 bucks. I make a big, you see them at uh, Home Depot, those big orange paint buckets. I make a whole paint bucket full for literally dollars, just five dollars, if, if that. I mean, all the ingredients, all, all the boxes of chemicals that I need, I think total come out to 15 bucks. But I only use a little bit out of each box to make a full five gallons. So it's, I, I, I'd say it's five gallons for a year's worth of uh, laundry detergent. I am not exaggerating. So, um, you know, it's just getting back to basics, not living for convenience. You know, they don't, they don't make things convenient for you to be convenient for you. They make things convenient for you to pull more dollars out of your pocket. Normally those things will broke you, will make you broke, and are less healthier. The last thing I want to cover, and I know this video might be getting a little boring, I do apologize, but this is the most important part of the video, where men lose their credibility with their spouse, as far as prepping for silver and food and whatnot. Men are guilty of ego. They think buying a bigger gun is going to make him more of an effective weapon. It would be a bigger prepper. I'm the man. Look at me. That's not the case. Buy only what you need. Buy a gun by all means. But don't buy some freaking sniper rifle just for the sake of prepping. Prepping and getting your wife on board is not an excuse for you to go out and buy high-powered fancy weapons that are tactical, not tactical, tactical, so you can look cool and look the part. Because looking the part is not being the part. If you got the money, that's one thing. But if you folks are strapped for cash and the husband goes out and buys a big rifle with some fancy freaking scope, that is wrong. It is not going to be making you a better prepper at all. You don't need the AR-15, although I don't condone anybody. I don't hold anybody back from buying one if you can afford it. But your first gun, and I do recommend a gun, it should be a cheap shotgun, a $300 Remington 870 or a Mossberg 500. That's all you need to protect your family, your wife, and your children. So men out there, Prepping or being a prepper, talking your wife into it is no excuse for you to go out and just go on a spending spree. Because as somebody that's a former army person, I can tell you right now, the rifle is not going to be what makes you an effective weapon.
okay? Just think simple, calm down. Don't worry about what other people have on these YouTube channels. You don't need to go and buy every little freaking rocket stove and every little thing they have to be a prepper. You need to ascertain why you're a prepper. And then you need to implement countermeasures for that situation. That is all. Bigger toys, bigger guns won't make you more effective. Being a prepper is not a club. You don't have to purchase everything that other preppers have. What do I prep? As you can see behind me, I prep food, lots of food. And if you know, this is not my only location, so I have a place up in northern Arizona that has a larger stockpile of food. This is not all my food, by the way. So what else do I prep? Obviously, food. A couple of simple firearms. Please teach your wife, your spouse to use them. You're gonna purchase yourself one. Have the respect for your wife or your spouse to purchase them one, okay? Trust me, my wife can probably shoot just as good, if not better than I can. So, purchase a couple of guns and whatnot for the family. Food, I've already mentioned that. Water, right there, that silver, right there. That silver thing is called a Berkey. That's the big Berkey water filter. Why do you need it? Well, just Google Flint, Michigan water. Just those three words. It can happen here in America. Okay? Don't tell me it can't happen here in America. Even if that, if that situation doesn't occur and your water gets turned off and you need to go to the freaking lake, that right there, that silver canister will clean out that water. It'll clean out all the E. coli, all the, the, the heavy metals. I got fluoride filters in it. It'll clean out all the fluorides and, and arsenic. So I, I, I recommend some type of water filtration system, if not a couple of water filtration systems. Redundancy, reverse osmosis, again, that Berkey filter. You know, water purification tablets. That sort of thing. Guns and ammo. Again, do not go out and spend thousands of dollars just to pee cool on guns and ammo. Obviously, you got the money, spend it if you like. But for those folks who are middle income to lower income, don't be foolish with your money. Okay? I recommend just a shotgun to start off with. Talk to your wife before purchasing any weapons. You gotta get her on board, him or her on board, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna lose credibility. We, you cannot, being the head of your household, you cannot risk credi losing your credibility. And speaking of losing credibility, I've already mentioned buying toys, big guns, okay? That's gonna make you lose your credibility. Stacking silver, without informing your spouse and hiding it, that's gonna make you lose credibility because you can't come back from that. You gotta explain why first and then do, do your purchasing. I've already mentioned buying bigger guns, but another thing, don't be a prophet. Only God and the government knows when they're gonna orchestrate this collapse. Don't tell her, oh baby, at the end of this year, I've been reading reports that it, it's gonna happen at the, at the third quarter of this year. You know how many times I've heard, excuse me, you know how many times I've heard it's gonna happen at the first quarter of the new year. It, it's like, a, it's like a, a, I don't know what's going on, but it's like every YouTuber does this. Uh, at the beginning of the year, they say, well, we're reading financial analyst reports that by the third quarter of this year, the collapse is gonna happen. The housing market's gonna collapse. Third quarter. Third quarter passes. What do they do? Well, we're reading financial reports that by the first quarter of uh, the new year, uh, we're going to have uh, the collapse. The housing market's going to collapse. The banking, the whole system is going to come down. That passes. Oh, we're reading financial reports that the third quarter is going to happen. And they keep doing this. First quarter, third quarter, first quarter, third. Do not 
be a prophecy. Do not be a prophet to your wife. Because when that time comes and it doesn't occur, you lose credibility. Okay? Um, so what else do I, you know, I've already mentioned food, silver, guns, ammo. Don't forget your wife is just as capable, your spouse is just as capable of learning how to use a firearm as you are. Don't get anything too big or anything like that. Water preparations, food, and, uh, you know, maybe getting, getting some uh, friends on board, hopefully. You can all be team, uh, a, 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 you know, a team. You, you, you can't do it by yourself. I'm sorry if I've taken up a lot of taking up a lot of your uh, your time with this video, um, but uh, this is a very important video. Although I jumped all over the place, and uh, uh, if you take anything from this video, don't lose credibility, men. Do not lose credibility. You're the man of the house. You are the protector. You are the provider. I don't care what's happening in current times where women now have to go out and work. Whether you both work or not, it is your responsibility, not the women's responsibility, to protect the household, to provide for the household. She's just supplementing, hopefully. So where are you going to lose credibility? It's worth repeating this. Trying to be a prophet. You will never know. Only God and the government knows. And if you try to tell her it's going to happen here and it doesn't, you lost credibility. She no longer wants to uh, to to prep for the future. Uh, don't buy big toys. Prepping is not an excuse to go out and buy the most expensive handguns and whatnot, and all the freaking prepping toys that you see on YouTube, all the stoves and everything. Although, if you got it and you need it for your situation, get it. Um, it's not a club. I'm I'm sorry. It's not a club. It's not about how much you can prep that makes you a prepper. It's what you got and how effective it is to countermeasure the situation that you're in fear of. Um, and that's all I got to say. I like to one day show you how to make your own yeast, by the way. And, um, you folks have a great day. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope you will subscribe and watch some of my old, <coughs> older videos as well. Um, take care, folks. Let me reach around this back of this old school camera and uh, turn her off.